I'm back. Just for a quick, uh, a quick little video, I wanted to talk about something that I think will help everyone um, understand the, or sort of get the most they can out of from the videos I've already put online, and hopefully it'll set everyone up for the next set of videos that are coming up. It's specifically related to a question I got uh, sent to me a few months ago that I haven't had a chance to answer yet because, um, well, I had a lot of things on my plate and. I had never been asked this question before, so I really had to think about it to come up with an appropriate answer. The email that I got was uh, it, basically the main, the main question was, why is a negative and a negative equal a positive? Now, there was a few other questions in the email as well, but all of them were dependent on this one question being answered, or this one, um, one problem that this person was having. Now, I did a little bit of research online, and I found out that there's a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of people have asked this question and I found some answers but a lot of the answers were based on proving that a negative and negative equal to positive in math. Um, what I want to talk about is why this property exists, why this is true. Now the best way, the simplest way to think about this is uh, just like the English language where a double negative is a positive, mathematics works the same way. A negative and a negative makes a positive. So. It, both languages are consistent uh, with each other. Now, in the email, the person um, wanted me to give an example where uh, you know two negatives make a positive. One of the problems that uh, uh, that uh, one of the issues with this question was that it was assumed that a negative number had a negative connotation. That 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 was uh, you know it was a bad thing. So you know in the email the. the and online, a lot of people were asking that, you know, they don't know any examples in nature where two negatives make a positive. Now, you can't think that way when it comes to mathematics. Math is, is a non, it, it doesn't have any emotions attached to it. It's just a language. So when we say um, we have a negative number, it doesn't mean it's a bad number or if a positive number is a good number. A negative number, it just means it's a negative number. The negative part is is a property of that number. It's like having black hair or white hair or yellow hair or blue eyes or you know two arms, one arm. It doesn't make a difference. It's just a property. It's a trait of a number. Okay. So a negative number doesn't have any emotions attached to it where two wrongs make a right. It doesn't work that way. Um, you know, in in life it really doesn't work that way. Two wrongs do not make a make a right. But in math, when two properties of uh, one kind merge, they might come up with a different property, which could be two negatives, and when they merge, they come up with a positive. Now, the best example that I could come up with, and I thought about uh, uh, a lot of them, but this is the best way that I could explain it as an example goes, is let's assume a single person is, is given the property of a negative number, and let's call it a negative one. So, a single person is negative one, okay? Let's call a couple, a married couple or just a couple, doesn't, you don't have to be married to be a couple. So let's just call a couple positive one, okay? So given this uh, let statement, and in mathematics you do a lot of let statements where you say let x equal something. So you're defining what x is. Right now we're doing the same thing, we're doing a let statement and saying a single person is negative one, and a couple is a positive one. They're one couple. Okay. So if we take two single people, negative one, and merge them, negative one times negative one, you get positive one, which is consistent with our let statement, which is consistent with the language of mathematics, and it's also consistent with English. Now keep in mind that uh, in math, words have meaning. So and in mathematics means multiplication. With in mathematics in general means addition. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see this actually, but maybe I should make them bigger. So right now we sort of prove to ourselves that two single people merging a negative and a negative is equal to a positive. If we use the with statement, this also is um, you know, consistent, it, it, it's true. So we could say, let's say two single people go to a party. So 
one single person comes with another single person to a party, then you have two single people. Oops, this should be a plus, sorry. So for both operations and multiplication and addition, they're operations, okay? This dot really means multiplication, okay? So with both operations, the and statement and the with statement, a single and a single makes a couple. A single with a single makes two singles, okay? So keep that in mind. A negative number doesn't have a negative connotation. It doesn't mean it's bad or, or, or it's good. It's just a property of that number.